Good morning, everyone. This is Babs from the Bodega, and today is Self Care Day, y'all. Now, I had a fellow YouTuber, Tammy Patton, to compliment me on my nails, and she asked me to show products that I use when I do my poly gel nail. Self Care Day is so important for anyone in everyone okay self-care is where you take a time to become aware center yourself do something that you enjoy doing and just shall we get started on my nails all right everyone as you can see i'm using the nail clipper to kind of break open those gloves that i'm wearing i wear gloves whenever i do my nails because you're constantly putting your hand underneath the lamp and it can be very drying on the skin so i put on latex gloves just to protect my hands all right, y'all, so I'm using my Melody Susie drill. I bought it from Amazon. It is going to be in the description box as well. Um, it has lasted me for two years. So when I do my nails for my poly gel, I make sure that I clean up my cuticle area. That is so important in the nail care. Um, failing to do this part will cause your nails to lift and they will not last long so as you can see i was showing you the dust um from my cuticles and also some of the the nail product All right, so I just brushed off my nails to kind of show you how good my cuticle area is looking. All right, y'all, it's time for us to start removing the poly gel. Poly gel is very soft, so you don't have to use um, a lot of pressure. Using a medium grit to remove my nails and um I am starting with my left hand and because I'm using my right hand, that's that dominant hand. I don't use a coarse drill bit on my right hand because I don't want to remove it so quickly and I risk damaging my hands. And so I am using my medium grit for my lesser dominant hand and I'm removing this poly gel. I'm telling you guys, poly gel is the way to go. I love poly gel. My favorite company I've settled with is McCart and I have them in the description box as well. All right, I'm showing you that as I'm removing my poly gel, I am staying away from my grow out area and that is because you can damage your grow out area. So when I'm removing my poly gel, I make sure to stay away from that area. Um, probably about two months ago, I damaged my nails so bad because I was putting them on more frequently without allowing them to grow out. And so um, that you got to be careful of. <music> All right, y'all, we're on the opposite hand now. I am pushing back my cuticles and trimming it up, getting it ready. And then I will start removing the product 
with my coarse drill bit by Panna. Okay, I used a coarse drill bit when I'm removing the product off on my right hand because I'm holding my drill in my left hand and it makes it easy to remove the process. This is a tip that you can use when you want to make your own primer. All right, good people. So now after I've gotten all the poly gel off of my nails, I'm going in and putting on my dehydrator. This is important. It helps to remove any oils from your hand and any of the dust. Make sure you get that primer on as well after you've done your dehydrator because your primer serves as a tape. And the tape is what's going to adhere the poly gel to your nails and it's going to give you that long lasting look i do use moravin i will have their information in the description box all right y'all i'm adding my mccart base coat that came with my kit and the base coat also serves as a, an important step after you put on your primer because your base coat is going to also help that poly gel to stick on your nail and give you lasting, lasting power. So I cured this for two minutes. I'll have a sticky, sticky layer. I won't even wipe that layer off. Alright, so what you see me doing now is adding uh, my pink poly gel and my white poly gel to my little tray so I can do a marble art. This is my Marcart that I'm using. You are now seeing my nails. I have them already um, sorted out by sizes. My favorite dual forms Marcart is right here. I love it. You get this, if you buy this kit or any kits from a cart, you get free door forms. And I've already pre-sized my nails, as you can see at the top. So when it's time for me to use those door forms, there is no guessing. And this is my instrument that I'm using. It has a metal spatula on one end and a brush on the other. I use that to apply my poly gel inside of my door forms. Um, I am holding the door form with a little um, craft instrument, you know, for um, people who make jewelry. And I found that using that and just holding it gives me so much control. So I'm dipping in my alcohol. Um, I don't use the slip solution. I love using the 71% or 70% alcohol or um, the 91% alcohol for my slip solution. Look at that beautiful color. Look how the McCart poly gel moves and flows. It's really thick, but yet movable. But I am just doing all of my nails at one time. Um, BK and I blog. She's a blogger who does her own nails. I came up on her video and she taught me that trick and it has saved my bacon. So, all right, my hands are ready to go. Um, that's my base coat. You see, I'm adding my door forms. Make sure to have a brush and some alcohol by you. So if you have spillage, you can definitely clean it up. You don't want to put your hands in your lamp until you've cleaned up any spillage that you may have. All right, y'all, I've cured my nails for uh, two to three minutes. I noticed that I forgot to flatten out my poly gel underneath. So that's something I'm going to have to definitely fix with my drill bit um, after I remove the dual forms, adding my thumb. I'm gonna cure that for three minutes. 
cleaning up any spillage that is important it saves you a headache for real this is the uv lamp that i'm using um i will put in the description where i got it from if you want to purchase one All right, so what I'm doing is just shaping and filing my nails. What I'm doing now is taking my fine bit from Panna, and I'm getting away, um, filing away the bulkiness in the back to try to bring down some of that back part. You don't want to be too heavy in the back and or too heavy in the front of your nails. So I'm just cleaning that all up. What I'm doing is giving y'all a heart because I want you to subscribe and like my video. Okay, y'all, so I am getting ready to add foil, that silver foil that I got from Amazon and some glitter to my pointer finger. And so I'm adding my McCart nail foil glue and I'm putting a thin coat. I add the foil, the glitter, and I cure it for about uh, 60 seconds and then I go back in and add my top coat. All right, y'all. So I decided to go ahead and add some rhinestones to the nail. It was looking a little blah, blah, blah. And so that's my uh, rhinestone glue that I put on top of my nail. All right, y'all, we are at the home stretch. I am so sorry that I am off camera, but what you see me doing is adding my top coat to my uh, thumbnail. I always do my thumbnail first, get it cured, and then I can do my other four there nails. You have it. Look how shiny and beautiful that is. Let's go ahead and get that cured, and we'll be right back. All right, good people. This is Babs. I am back. This is the finished product of my nails. As I've said before, I am not a professional by any means. And I just do my own nails for fun. All right, y'all. We are finished. While I'm adding the oil to my cuticles, I um, just want to let you know it does take me six hours from start to finish to do my nails. And what I like to do is the day before, just remove all of the products, get my nail prepped and ready to go. So the day before, I make sure that I take any cuticles off. I uh, remove any poly gel. Just get my nails ready to go to receive the dehydrator, the primer, and all the other products the next day. I'm getting ready to add my Nadi to my Yet Hair Essential Shea Butter to my hands. Y'all, check out the description. If you go to her website and shop, use Babs Bodega. Yes, use Babs Bodega code so that you can get 10% off on your order. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me um, doing my nails. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. Check those out. Don't forget to like, 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 and subscribe to Babs Bodega's channel. Be blessed.